We can't start with that. I'm instantly want to keep. Why do I do news. that, bro? They want to demonetize us because I don't know how to start without saying cuss words, bro. I'm working on it. We, we need a swear jar. I'm for trying Johnny. to be better. Bro. <laughs> hey, that's exactly what we need. Yeah, Let's get maybe. a swear jar up in this bitch. Y'all be balling. So there goes the words. It wasn't what? me. What? What did I do? What did it I do? Up in this female dog. <laughs> that sounds worse. Uh, what? That does. Converting that word to female dog. When like, you say it like when that? When you say female dog, that sounds way more disrespectful. Is it? It, so, it feels I worse we, to me. I thought we embrace bitch now. I mean, some do, some don't. Okay, yeah, yeah. You're, yeah you're some right. do, some you're don't. Right. So starting on a non-cussing part of the pod, right? Okay, yeah. Shout out to Chad for these fire cups <laughs> because he's seen the frame and he said, man, y'all look like you guys are in a hospital. <laughs> I don't want those white, ugly looking cups in the frame anymore. That's Got these funny. beautiful black ones. Got these right? beautiful black yes. ones off of yes. Amazon, yes. right? Yeah. And you know what's funny though? I'll drink is, to that. Take a sip. Because, <laughs> see, I, I'm an older brother and I'm a younger brother at the same time. So I know both vibes, right? And it was funny because it was a couple pods back and I, I'm, Chad's like, Jay, listen, your shaker bottle is really pissing me <laughs> off in the front. All right? Really. That needs to go now. I heard and about this. Both, both sides of me got activated, right? My older brother was like, yeah, move that shit. And my younger brother was like, damn, bro, like, take it easy. It's just a shaker bottle. I'm just trying to drink water. Yeah, I'm trying to stay hydrated. Bro. You, know, you, you want me to be parched on the mic? So the question of the hour, fellas, mm-hmm. did he do it? Uh, right, you gonna get we right going into right it. into the fucking Kariya, bro. Oh, did he do it or did he not do it? Do what? All of them. He's not, charged of, he's not charged with anything. No, they're allegations. Yeah. Well, okay, allegations. Okay, but that's what I'm saying. That Did he do uh, it? Allegedly. Allegedly. Uh, allegedly. So did he flee the country, Len Wirtz? Did he allegedly, hop on a jet? Yeah, allegedly. He tried to. Allegedly. No, he's gone, or though, right? Maybe, oh, he did leave? Yeah, he's out there. I thought, they, may, I thought they wouldn't let him leave at the maybe airport. he was already going on vacation, and somebody knew that and wanted to make it look like he was running. Man. I mean, those are all possibilities. Yeah. Okay? See? All of these are alleged possibilities. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> Man, one thing I know for sure, though, dog, yeah. is when the feds come out like that, they don't do that unless in, they have a case. In different states even, though. And bro. I'm not saying, uh, okay, I'm not saying that the case is through evidence that they've collected. I'm not saying mm-hmm. what the case is, whether it's allegedly, whether whatever it is. I wasn't there, dog. I don't know. Yeah. But the feds don't come out like that unless they know they could put you away. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. He, I mean, they're going they're gonna, the they're gonna to ruin his life either way. It's I mean, already done. It's pretty much done, done right? Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to say that he can't recover from from this, uh-huh. but he will end up kind of like, I mean, this is an extreme case, but like an O.J. Simpson, uh-huh. where it's like, even though they found him criminally not guilty when it came to the civil trial, he, you know, they leaned him up and that was the end. Mm-hmm. So I don't know that Diddy is ever going to be able to like get away from this now this it it became such a spectacle yeah. that it'll always be attached to him i think so too you know i, I think so. so too and other artists now too bro, bro. yeah but not so She's much good. like everybody is just like him him, well, him. See, like it's all it's, focusing to him you know what's crazy like though, nobody's taking it <laughs> nobody's taking it like diddy is right it's now. pretty <laughs> <laughs> hey <laughs> Hey, you, yeah, all right, I see you, Linwood. Nobody is taking it quite like Diddy or giving it according to the allegations. But what's interesting to me is he's got all these A-list connections and, and friends and all this stuff, right? Yes, the okay. silence is, is pretty loud right now, Doug. Okay. Silence is pretty loud, bro. Yeah, but... When your homeboy gets caught up in some some bullshit like that, how many people really want to jump in and and save the day? Most Friends, people don't. How many of us? Have Most people been? are just like, I don't want no parts of that shit. No, because if they mean? start coming after me, it's gonna be a problem. Look how many people got off the Titanic. Yeah, that well, we're probably not supposed to be on them boats first, right? Yeah. They were trying to kill it. Uh, the homeboy. Hey, that scene in the Titanic, right? Homie's like, this is my kid. And he's a rich dude. He didn't give a shit about that kid. He just wanted a boat, right? Yeah. Yep. Nine times out of ten, people really don't give a shit about you, bro. They just want a boat to save their own ass. Correct. 
So you think the silence is is them getting on the boats, getting the hell off the Titanic before I think it I think that's splits part in of half? It. I think that's part of it because we were talking about this before the cameras turned on. You know, the man led a freaky lifestyle. That is probably the 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 most facts we have right now. Yeah. Right. And that's the only thing that everyone can like agree on. However, whether or not it was consensual or w like the extreme opposite, you know what I'm saying? Like those things are only allegations to the point yeah. that he is not facing criminal charges right now. So there's no, there's no mm. evidence as of right now, like physical hardcore evidence has been released. There's still only Affid allegations. There's no well, affidavits are evidence. So uh -huh. let's not act like, you know, someone swearing and saying, yeah, I'm telling the truth. Like that's, that's something. Uh -huh. However, a lawsuit for a payment in a civil trial is different than Actual criminal. going to court for criminal charges. Criminal charges. Well, yeah. there. Uh, I don't know if it was a producer. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I look was, at Jay. It, it was a producer. It was a producer that said he's got he's got footage, talking, huh? Yeah. I know he said he's about. got them receipts that he would force him to have sexual relations with uh, male sex workers in the studio. I mean, is this a gay man? I mean, I guess forced in in general. But yeah, I like, I don't I don't know I don't know if I don't know if he's gay. Is it forced or coerced? See, that's the that's where the, the that's where this is gonna get to the nitty you see gritty. How, of it. Yeah, you see how like like how shifty yeah. this conversation can so get. So that's where like, it's gonna get to the nitty gritty of it, right? Yeah. What 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 evidence is there that can support the allegations? Mm -hmm. And again, if it's there, dog, and you're like, oh, this is actual situation that went down, then, right. hey, by all means, bro, he needs to go where the fuck he needs to go, sure. right? I'm yeah. curious what evidence they did have that made them fucking raid his Raid house. all the pads. Yeah. That's one thing I know. Again, I'll, uh, the feds don't Cause, come cause, out like okay. that. They're saying he's sex trafficking. Well, yeah, and that's and what drug I'm, trafficking and, now. Oh shit! Oh my god! That okay. fool out here, he been running things, bro. We thought it was <laughs> Shook. We thought was, it was Shook. He Knight. said he ran the city. <laughs> we thought it was Shook he Knight, said he right? Ran it. Yeah. It was Diddy the whole time, bro. Allegedly. Know. Right. Right. I don't know, cause cause I get the vibe that there's there may be more than one thing going on right now. I think that ultimately you're dealing with a man who's got like an unusual sexual appetite and you know lifestyle that doesn't really suss with like normal people so it's fun mm -hmm. to talk about the the salacious details but then on the other side you also have somebody who's probably addicted to drugs addicted to you know like the extreme lifestyle that he's lived mm -hmm. so it's like he's not necessarily like sober he's not necessarily you know like Lines the type blurred, of person bro. yeah Lines exactly so it's like if you've been doing this for 30 something years and people are just now just now starting to like come after you mm -hmm. why now that's the all that's the question i think everybody should always ask because he probably right forgot now. to pay his illuminati bill we'll see Damn. there you go rents due motherfucker that's due or or he tried to charge something he wasn't supposed to charge and see again right it was just like wait a minute we say this all the time <laughs> two things shit three four things can be true at the same time correct, dog, correct. right you could be a fucking shithead mm -hmm. out here doing all the things that they're alleging he did. Yeah. You can have a freaky deaky lifestyle mm -hmm. that they're, you know, which seems yeah. pretty much the fucking case at this point. For right? sure. I think we all know. And you can also piss on and piss off the people. The wrong motherfuckers. The wrong motherfuckers. Yeah. Whoever so they're they finding, are. They're finding a lot of like tapes and recordings and shit. Uh -huh. Of like him with like artists, and, they're, and, they're, wow. and they're saying that that he this... he would hold on to them to like blackmail people. Really, and see, here's the thing: we heard that with the other guy, but we never saw anything, and we never, we definitely never saw a raid on every multiple channels in multiple states. Mm -hmm. No. So to me, it's like we'll see. But right now, what I'm seeing is a lot of people like calling him guilty of something without charges or evidence mm -hmm. and all of us are speculating so mm -hmm. it's like oh yeah i don't believe in like just saying well you were alleged to have done this stuff so you must have done it you must have done something yep and it's like nah bro because when that type of circumstance comes to regular people it is hard to deal with yeah you know what i'm saying well i was talking to the homie shout out adam Oki the other day mm -hmm. and he got somebody off that was in jail for like 25 years right and it, he was falsely, he was falsely 
and that accused happened, and that falsely happens. incriminated right 25 fucking years and he probably took bro. a plea or something like that yeah it, it, yeah. Was, it was a wrap like everything yeah. point and then there was something that was misfiled some dna got here there or whatever what the fuck mm-hmm. so again I, I i agree with you len words you can't um hang a jacket on somebody without that that shit being one hundo, right? right? Like you can't go around you can't go around calling someone a fucking snitch mm-hmm. without proper paperwork, dog. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm for saying? Sure. Cause I know motherfuckers that that's that's people will move on that out of pocket completely, bro. You can fuck that. somebody up co- entirely on both mm-hmm. sides of it. You know what yeah. I mean? Mm-hmm. I you gotta have the proper paperwork mm-hmm. if you're gonna stand on that fact that you're claiming. Right. You know what I mean? So you can't really hang a jacket on someone like that until you know until the because it's that serious oh yeah and and i'm not i'm not believing that someone who is guilty of any of those crimes should go free you know what i'm saying like let the system do what it's supposed to do but demand that the system does it let's not create this arbitrary people just you know meme you up and accuse you up and file you know civil suits but you're not actually criminally liable for having done anything Mm -hmm. because then it's just about money and that's all it's about. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that's why we all agreed to have a justice system. No, we're not. It's got to do. Yeah. It's like you got to do your job. Yeah. It's got to be due process. process. Exactly. Do your job. We need that. Each side of it. We need that. I agree. We need all the, we need all the, you know, we got to have protection of our papers. We got to have free speech. We got to have our, our guns and weapons to protect ourselves. Like we got to be able to have, everything that was designed in this motherfucker and we got to utilize it yep. and we can't just set it aside because ooh, they talking sexy yeah oh, you yeah. know what i'm saying because yeah. that it, it just becomes salacious and it's not like a serious conversation anymore and i think anyone who's sitting in the top spot looking at the the masses like well they don't care if this dude really gets charged you know what I'm saying? We could just call, call him these things. And he's these things. And he's these things. Same mm-hmm. with Trump. Same with Tate. Same with Julian Assange. Same with Edward Snowden. Same with, like, anybody that needs to be out of the way yeah. of whatever the agenda might be. Whatever they're in the way of. Jordan the, Peterson. The you know, like, yeah. all these And whoever people. they're in the way yeah. of. Yeah, Candace, for sure. Candace Owens. Like, it, uh-huh. it's happening to a lot of people, and it's the same playbook where it's like, they're going to discredit you. They're going to take your money. And... If it goes far enough, they'll take your life. Yeah, and see, I, I like that you said, because I, I agree. I, I 100% totally agree. Um, if the motherfucker did what they're saying the motherfucker did, sayonara. Yeah, sorry. See you the fuck yeah, later, because that. that's in yeah. hell, nah. Yeah. Right. That's crazy. Crazy business, bro. But due process. Yeah, gotta have it. Come with the receipts. Yep. Because we've seen too many times when it's like, well, you know, uh, they told me to say this. Yeah. Right? How many times after the fact is that? And again, I'm not taking away what possibly could have been reality yeah. from victims that could have suffered right. in what they're alleging happened. Right? right? But again, we've seen it time and time again where it, the shit gets convoluted. It gets it gets messy. It gets messy, bro. Yeah. It gets. And so before we get too messy on our <laughs> end, right? You are now tuned in to respect the connect. I'm your host, Johnny James. I'm here with a few of my nearest and dearest. J.J. Trav's in the building. What's cracking, Jay? Man, shit, these beats is cracking, dog. These beats is cracking. Uh, I know I be seeing. You uh, sent me a whole new pack. I listen to them. The other ones are ready for the fucking vlog. The beats is cracking. My dog. Hell yeah. Len Words yes, sir. is in the building. What's popping, Len Words? What's popping? The poppers are popping. The, the poppers are popping. <laughs> breakers are breaking. Yes. And the beats is cracking. Yes, Damn. Damn. Production on the other side, Dom, we in focus. Crystal clear. How Let's we go. sounding? Even better. Even better. <laughs> we got yeah. Chad in the building. We got, my, job, we got my yeah. dog, Ken Dog, Ken Dog in the building. What's, What's popping, fellas? Yes. How was everybody's week? How was everybody's weekend? How's life? What's popping? Good, man. Good. Good. Yeah. I mean. Spring break. Spring break. So. Oh shit! Yeah. It's, Both yeah. you guys got full houses. Yeah, huh? we do. This year was two weeks spring break. Yeah, two weeks. Yeah, sounds long. Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> that's what she said. I hope she said it. She did. She did. No, that's what she knew. <laughs> I've been I've been enjoying it. My kids are um, picking up their instruments again. My daughter playing a little guitar and piano. Dope. And my son on his saxophone is like starting to really. 
have fun with it and oh, be creative. Shit. And I like it because I'm teaching them how to uh, play by ear. So yes, last night we were playing. Um, he he came to me and was like picking out the uh, melody to isn't isn't she lovely the Stevie Wonder song. Oh shit! And what? he was playing it on a saxophone. And my daughter, <laughs> like, and he's about to be twelve. My daughter's about to be six. She's playing "Smoke on the Water." Bro, that's on the fire. piano, okay. And trying to figure it out on the guitar, okay, yeah. dude. That's that wicked. smoke on the water is dun 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 dun. That one, yeah. Smoke on the water. Yeah, I that's don't fire. know why, but I think that's her mom's side. Hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, bro. <laughs> Get it. That's dope. Bro. Yeah, that's so, really dope. So that's fun. What about yeah. you, Jay? What about me, John? What about you, Jay? Chilling, bro. The weekend just started. Spring break, I guess, has been popping, but yes. You know, I've been working. You've been working. <laughs> so my shit's lo- low key. I don't got no too many plans for this weekend. What do you guys got going on for Easter? I'm painting eggs later. Yeah. yeah. After this, I gotta do it. Resurrection. Yeah. Is it, you, are you doing the walk? Uh, no. No. Uh-uh. You're not doing that crazy walk. <laughs> nah, it, it's not crazy. Okay, it, my bad. But it's 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 dope, right? It's it is. a little the whole, something. The whole thing about like like the culture of it. And man, I get it, right? Yeah. But again. I'm not a practicing Catholic, my I've dog. I've seen people on the highway. Oh yeah, they go on there. there. And I, Some people and go on I their didn't know because dog. I was I was going up to uh, Colorado for something I can't uh-huh. remember, and we were like in like the byways, like back there, and um, I see these people just like walking up the road, and I'm like, what? Are yeah. Because it looked it looked kind of spooky to me, and I'm like, what is happening? And uh, the person I was with was just like, oh, you know, this is. That thing, and I was like, "Oh shit!" Like I've heard of it, but I had never seen. But they're like, they still, one hundred percent, are like walking from like village to village out yep. there. Yep. Like way some out people there. do it on their hands and knees. Well, one of the, one of the girls, like my man and uh, or like the in, twins and uh, Breaking Bad, Breaking Bad? Yeah. on their sure. knees, yeah. hands and knees, not from like as oh, like, far yeah. down as here. <laughs> but like, once they get up closer, you know what I'm saying? Really? Yeah, they're not on the on the high. I mean, yeah. there might be. I'm sure there has been because right. you know what I mean it. Catholic, bro. It's you really? know, penance and, and sacrifice and stuff. Stand like up, that. kneel, yeah. sit, kneel. Stand up, kneel. Sit. Yeah, it's, in, it's, in church, that's it's, what you do. Yeah, yeah it's, it's you know, it's penance, yeah. penance, sacrifice. It's all you know. It all goes back to the to the sacrifice that Jesus. You know, again, like I said, bro. I'm not a I'm Shame. not a practicing I'm not a practicing. Ca- yeah, that the guilt goes. It runs deep, Shame. dog. It runs deep. It really bro. does, bro. My uh, um, my tata Kiko was yeah. uh, penitente out in Cabrero. Oh yeah, and that's like OG Catholic yeah. stuff, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah. That's yeah. like my moms used to say that that it was some spooky shit, bro. Really? They used to whip the fuck out of each other, right? But they were covered, right? Yeah. You never really seen their face, but she knew it was my Tata Kiko because of his feet, so you could see his feet, right? So they yeah, would the go hammer toes. They, was just they like, would go, know. yeah. <laughs> they'd go to uh, the church out there in Cabrero, right? Yeah, and uh, man, they whip each other, and then they'd carry the cross from the church. To the cemetery, no kidding, in Cabrera, while they were whipping the fuck out of each other. Wow. Yeah, that's that's like old school <sighs> New God. Mexico yeah. culture that comes from Spain, dog. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I don't think they really do that anymore. They might still. It's some of these. I, you I know, haven't seen that, bro. One of the girls I used to date, bro, she was into into that, so we drive up there all the time, bro. Yeah. And uh, we were watching uh, Walking Dead at the mm-hmm. time, and you know, and so like if you're on the freeway. They have like these signs that say caution for walkers, you know, mm-hmm. or it'll just say walkers. Oh, you, <laughs> thought, you, were, you thought you were Rick Grimes? <laughs> and, and all, every time, bro, because her and her mom were religious, bro, and every time I'd be all, walker! <laughs> <laughs> they, did, they did not like that. Hey, you said, the girl I used to date, huh? Yeah. yeah okay. Right. I see it. <laughs> yeah, I see where things went They did quit. not like that, dog. <laughs> nah, I see where things went left, Jay. I see where th- this guy <laughs> thinks he's Rick to. Grimes. I thought it was funny, dog. I thought that shit was funny. <laughs> hey, I think it's funny too, right? But some people, yeah, it is funny. Yeah, man. Obviously, they didn't. <laughs> no, <laughs> a lot of people don't find the humor in some of the religious stuff, right? Yeah. They really don't. That's where you can cross a line where you turn into dating to was dating <laughs> <laughs> very yeah. quickly. Hey, yeah. and and talking about the Walking Dead. Listen, we've talked about this. I stuck around to the end, Lenwards. I'm a loyal uh, yeah. motherfucker, I don't right? Know how you did it. Hey, the new <clears throat> spinoff with Rick and Michonne, though, mm-hmm. the ones who lived. Bro, doing that, another sick. No, it's it's Apparently. just been there. <laughs> Apparently, this motherfucker still dialed in. I, it never <laughs> ends. Hey, oh sick though, dog. Like okay. it reminds me of when Frank Darabont was running it. Okay, that's what well, it see, feels that's like. That's when it what was it good. looks like. Yes, that's when it was good. Yes. So, Walkers. Yes. Shout out to Frank Walkers. Darabont. Yeah. So you mean to tell me that Rick and Michonne survived? Yeah. 
Spoiler, Spoiler alert. alert. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Hey, this fool stopped Two watching it. Late. Right after right after Negan popped Glenn's eyeball out of his fucking me head. Too. Dom's like, yeah, that's I was about like, my I'm cue, good. Dude. <laughs> yeah. That I'm was out me. This piece. That was me. I was just like, I don't know what this is anymore. I don't I don't care. Yeah. Yeah. I, I couldn't do it. I was like, I kind of fucked with Glenn. That's yeah. Me too. Me too. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I fucked with Glenn. He was first episode, like, I was like, bet. I need this. I like this guy being a central character. Mm-hmm. But yeah, the way he went out, I was like, you know what? I'm good. He, he <laughs> I, don't, I don't care where this goes anymore. I think that scared a lot of people, Doc. Which yeah. one was Glenn? Glenn was the Asian, the guy, the Asian, the Asian dude. Oh, okay. yeah, okay. that used to, remember, he's the one that found Rick in the the very first episode mm-hmm. when Rick was in the... Uh, the was he like a delivery the guy or something? Yeah, was he was. He? Nah, he was over there like just stealing shit. Right. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, he was. Oh, yeah, because it had already popped off. That's yeah. right. Okay. So he, 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 when he met Rick in the hospital, when yeah, no, 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 no. Uh. Rick had already woke up. Rick was in the city, and Rick was in the tank. This guy knows the whole. Story, I do. Uh, Remember, he Rick was in the no tank. Remember, moment. he called him up, bro, and he's like, "Hey, you stupid ass, what are you doing in there?" Remember, Rick was yeah, surrounded by the zombies. Yeah, he was. He zombies. was surrounded by the zombies in the tank. Glenn's the and Glenn one. Glenn called him at the end of the that episode. Saved him. Yes, oh. that's right. Because yeah. that was the cliffhanger for the first. Glenn episode. was always the one that was saving everybody on some shit like yeah. that. Yeah, but anyway, a shit, man. he was. So a lot of people did get upset, but listen, no. it happened in the comic. So, so we don't need. You to gotta no. You know what? You got to do it like Game of Thrones and do that shit early enough that I get used to it. That I'm like, okay, it's this kind of show. You got to know don't when to hold them and know yeah, when to fold them. Yeah, well, don't make me get, like, pick a central character if you're going to knock one off and do it in the first season. So I'm like, okay, it's this kind of show. Because Game of Thrones did that. Hell, they thought, you hey. thought the main character was one guy and it was just well, like. Carl had to smoke his mom in the prison. That wasn't a, she wasn't the main character. I guess like maybe that. not. Yeah. Well, yeah, I don't know. She was getting piped down by Shane for a good little decent amount of time, bro. Yeah, but she wasn't like <laughs> like Glenn. Well, she wasn't Rick or Shane. No, I didn't really like her either. I mean, yeah. I wasn't upset that she yeah. went. Away. I ju- I just and admit you don't like the characters that you like getting knocked off. There you go. Okay, speak on it. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Speak on it. So when Joffrey took his in Game of Thrones, you were cheering with the rest of us, right? Yeah. Yeah, that was the shit. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think anyone liked Joffrey. <laughs> nah, Nobody Joffrey, Joffrey didn't Joffrey. like Joffrey. Joffrey was... Hey, the way he went out, though, yeah. was some crazy shit, bro. Oh, yeah. That oh, death yeah. was gnarly, yeah. bro. Jay's like... You didn't watch Game of Thrones? No, dog. No Game of Thrones, no Walking Dead. You watched enough, though, to You never watch Game of Thrones? Catholic jokes. Hey, cut his mic off. Yeah, bro. You're fired, Jay. I'm going to cut my own mic He's going to turn mine down? Watch this. He turned mine down. Hey, um... <laughs> hey, at least it's all waterproof and shit, right? You know what I mean? Quick, it was quick to turn my shit up. Uh, he turned my shit up, he turned his like, oh, shit off. Really? <laughs> no, if there's if there's a show, Jay, that you're gonna like dial into and actually like go back and watch, mm. Glenn Words has a point. Which Game, uh, of Game of Thrones? Yes. Okay. Yes. I think I might be a little loud now too, bro. I think I went up in the headphones <laughs> fucking louder than well, yeah, fuck. I up turned in him here. down. I had to turn yeah. somebody up. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so so back to the shenanigans, bro. We yeah. can't we can't did he or did he we got it. Yeah, we got to complete this to... combo here. <laughs> you still want to? We got to complete it. Oh. We didn't we didn't finish here. There's still there's still some some talking to be done. Let me get okay. one more actually. Real quick. I think again, bro. I'll say it again. The feds don't come out, dog, like that unless they know their end result is gonna be solid for them. Okay, mm-hmm. so I'll give you that, but here's my thing. They, um, I, I heard a lot of people, and not, not saying this is your point, but I heard a lot of people saying that just because they have such a high conviction rate mm-hmm. and they came out with confidence, people are saying, okay, they're definitely going to get him, and hey, they normally get people. Those are two separate things Uh you know what i'm saying like the fact that they win 98 percent or 99 percent part of that is because of plea bargaining Uh because if everybody demanded a a a jury trial they never get anything done like the system would grind to a halt almost immediately Uh so if that's the case and they're winning based on like okay Please. please because it's like hey if you take a plea we'll knock down some of your time but if you don't take a plea we're, we're never going to let you out. You know what I'm saying? Like, most people are going to fold and be like, look, man, I'm not trying to be in jail for the rest of my life or fighting mm-hmm. a false conviction, you know, with 25 years sitting on my head. 
You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's like most people will just take a plea. <clears throat> you or take the plea. Like that. Yeah, you exactly. Could, you could almost fight it from try to fight it, but but when you take the plea, you're you're you're, you're, you're fucking yourself you're because fucking you're making yourself. it easy for them because now they have evidence that you said you're guilty. Yeah. But then if you wait it out. Then you're fighting your your fight from in exactly from in, in, in jail, pre, in prison, right? Which in jail, yeah, which, which is, is harder, way harder. Mm-hmm. Not to mention, you don't know what goes on in there. You know, you don't know the culture. You don't know how they're going to treat you or let you be treated. Like mm-hmm. there's so many X factors depending upon how they. So someone like a a, a Diddy person, a Diddy person, a Diddy, <laughs> <laughs> Diddy so, the Diddler. So your, your typical Diddy is going to be not really trying to see that, you know, as an as an outcome. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Like they didn't get OJ in jail until he went and robbed those those people for the memorabilia. It was almost he like he never was in prison. No, it was almost like he was like, Y'all gotta lock me up. I need to be locked up for something. That was crazy. He was wild. Well he was still OJ. Like that was the thing. He's not black. He's, yeah, he's something else. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. 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 Yeah. <laughs> okay. But that's what he was on where it was like, yo, I'm uh that's my stuff. I earned it. Uh-huh. I'm gonna have it back. And he wasn't trying to, you know, deal with, you know, stupid people. And then just the same, he might have got set up on that shit, too, because those people obviously weren't his friends. You know what I'm saying? So he, was, so he went to jail for when he was stealing back his memorabilia, right? Correct, because mm-hmm. people were stealing stuff that was taken from him. He pulled from up his to hotel the hotel room. Well, no, yeah. he pulled up to their hotel He pulled room, up, right? yeah, he pulled up. But the people that were with him were... I think they were either other collectors or like business people that he kind of knew or whatnot. But of course, they let him hold the gun. They let him make all the threats. They recorded his voice. My dog, could you imagine? You know, OJ knocking on your hotel room door with a gun, saying, "Let me in. You stole my shit." That'd be crazy, bro. <laughs> I, I would have set up a couple of hurdles right hey, on the other side of the door and just open it up. Hey, see, Let's see you hop listen, these. Hey, <laughs> with the I knees, seen that. Boy. I seen them commercials, bro. Let me put this this baggage in yeah, your way, bro. Let's see if you can still jump. baggage claim, bro. Let's see it. Let's see it, OJ. Right, I seen this clip where uh, this this white lady interviewed him, like after the whole yeah. this, the the actual trial trial, yeah. not not the memorabilia trial. Mm-hmm. He uh, and then afterwards he like goes to her room and she opens the door and he has like a knife and he's like fucking around. No with her. way. No, I swear See, you th- and, and he's the type of person where it's just like, bro, like you're not helping. <laughs> yeah. No, people want to give you the benefit of the doubt because we need our system to like yeah. give you that, bro. bro he Stop went fucking on his us, whole he, the whole book he wrote. I know that was called if, if I did, I did it. it was literally this him how, confessing yeah. to doing it. Yeah. They didn't so, let him release it. I know. And the and that and that girl uh and uh that dude's families both like <coughs> own that book and they basically own him. They leaned him up to the point where he'll never pay it off. You know what I mean? So I wonder if it'll ever get leaked or or is, is it is it book, has it been it leaked? It got it was leaked. Like it was out there, but I don't think anybody bothered to read it. I mean, we kind of all really kind of already. Nobody, yeah, nobody. I mean, a a bunch of time had already passed, but Mm -hmm. anybody that had watched the court case, I mean, they went into excruciating detail on exactly how things went down. I think it was a 30 for 30, but it was one of those ESPN documentaries. Uh Oh, bro, that one was, that one was the one. Really? It covered it so well. That whole thing was a mess. And Diddy might be on his way to having that one of those stories told, or one of those surviving Diddy. Or oh, that you know, sort of it's, thing. it's definitely because yep. it could happen. It could happen very yep. soon. I know. So, okay, all the other stuff aside, bro. Mm. Every uh, allegations: Did he do it? Did he not do it? Is he on the run? Do they have a case? All that stuff. We haven't got to the bottom of that yet, right? Uh-huh. One thing's for sure. This shit just getting started. Bro. I know. That's mm-hmm. what I'm saying. This is like, just think... the tip of the iceberg, yeah. dog. Yeah. And it, you know, it really seems, dog, like all these entertainers and 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 Hollywood, dog, is full of a bunch of fucking weirdos, bro. <laughs> yeah. Like, where the fuck they getting these dudes, bro? Like, <laughs> like, did you guys watch the Quiet on Set, the Nickelodeon documentary? I did. Yeah. No. Brother, yeah. that was so <sighs> difficult to watch. Yeah. Like. It was it was fucking disgusting, my guy. Like the the okay, just my first thoughts as I was watching it, right? Because I was from the era of like all that and all them like first right. shows that were cracking with that fucking Dan Schneider fuckhead. Yeah. And then I got to still kind of continue watching these shows because I had Dom at such an early age. Mm-hmm. So oh, yeah, he yeah, grew yeah. up on those shows, like as they started aging, you feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So then it went into the Drake and Josh and right. the, the, the iCarly's and all of the, I got to see pretty much all, his all shows. of them. They're all his shows. Yeah. 
So it's really Wild. fucked up to think that a lot of our like funny, happy memories as kids that was associated with these shows mm -hmm. was some of these kids' worst fucking nightmares. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. some of the shit that like came out on that was very, very difficult to watch. Very disturbing. Disturbing. Yeah. Yeah. That's an understatement for sure. Yeah. And I, I just, I, I kind of found it a little interesting to say the least that the Dan Schneider dude, the main guy that wrote and produced all these fucking shows, he has no charges or anything being brought against him he yet. He still has shows on the air. He still has shows on the air? Yeah. Henry Danger is his show. Oh, Henry shit. Henry Danger's that's on. crazy. Yeah. yeah. And I think there's a spinoff to that one too. But I, bro, I, I turned that that on the other day matter of fact it might have been yesterday mm -hmm. and uh one episode ended and then the next one ended or began and they're showing like the opening credits and i'm like that is the same name isn't it he's and still I was on like, it yeah and i was like fuck man like this dude's still making his money and i ain't mad at him i mean if he hasn't done anything against the law however that entire environment that was being like investigated was not a, a, a nah. safe place for kids. It Hell did not seem like no. that at all. Like, I definitely wouldn't have had my kids on them shows. <laughs> no. Like, well, all. I mean, and then, you, you know. And wouldn't have been watching them if I knew no, any of that no. shit was going on for well, sure. Well, and then you, they, they bring up some of, like, the scenes and, like, some of the episodes. Yeah, so, well, a lot of those shows I had never watched, though. Uh -huh. So I missed that part. Like, uh -huh. my Nickelodeon days were you can't do that on television and kind of ended with... Um, what was the spooky story? Uh, scary stories you tell in the yeah, dark. Yep. Uh, that one. Damn, that was one of my favorites too. Yeah, yeah. It would come on like Saturday night. Are you afraid of the dark? Are you afraid, Are you of, afraid of the dark? dark? There you that's go. What that's what it's called. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that one. Um, those were the ones that I kind of like came in and, and left with. So I didn't watch uh, a lot of all of that. I, it was just a little too young for me. And then there were other things after that that I just never caught on to. So yeah, I, got I didn't watch it, but. I know, like, my brother, you know, and even now my kids are still watching the man's content. So it's like, wow. you know, I mean, he, for whatever reason, is still, you know, Gucci. I, I but, find it's, it's, like I said, interesting for lack of a better word. It is. He had it all is. these fucking sickos that have been convicted. Some of them now still working again with kids, which is fucking That's insane. Wild. That's wild. Right? Yeah. Insane. And, dog, you mean to tell me this dude was so intricate in his shows, right? He was so attached to every facet of it that he didn't know he had two sick fucks working on set with him. I, I don't buy it, dog. I just don't. I just say like attracts like at that point. When it when it comes <laughs> when it, yeah. when it comes yeah. to like protecting children like that, bro, like mm -hmm. like nah, we gotta be vigilant. Yeah. My dog, no doubt. like no doubt. we got like nah, fuck that. Yeah. And it seems like the culture of Hollywood just like facilitates these sickos to exist and keep existing. Well, part of it is I, is the fact that you know we're talking about child actors in this particular case, and obviously the parents would want to protect them. But what if the family's economic interest is counterbalancing with that protection? Do you take more risk or allow certain things you you ordinarily wouldn't tolerate, or you would? normally say something but now you're just kind of like well that's a little weird but not actually saying fuck no my daughter's not shooting that like no yeah. no way mm -hmm. in hell you know what i'm saying because as parents you you would like to think that you're taking the high road but if your kids you know contract can be revoked and now you guys are you know back to your old neighborhood or you know now your hopes and dreams of a financial future are are washed how do you explain that? Well, that's what homie said. But, but, but I don't think you should do. You know, you got to weigh the factors for sure. You don't want to put your kid, put it, put that all that just on your kid, like to be like, well, well it, and you shouldn't. But you know what there's, I'm saying? There's a lot of parents do. Plenty yeah. of people that yeah. do. Well, it, yeah. homie said that. Homie, that was he's like, man, this was gonna be my breakout, and I was gonna take care of my family, right. and it didn't happen because right. I wasn't willing to do like like the the the, the torch got passed around me. Like so, right. there's 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 people that kind of like seen how this was like starting to go, and they. Like he stopped being so close to them, right? Mm -hmm. Because they weren't doing what he wanted. So right. they would get the, the they would get the shaft, dog, kind kind of. Like they would get pushed to the side mm -hmm. and somebody else would be a star instead of them. And homie was saying, he's like, um, yeah, my my 
my family, they were looking to me to like taking him out of the hood and like I was going to be a huge star. And then when it didn't happen, he's like, I've been dealing with that and going to therapy over that for my whole life. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Because now I wasn't able to save my family. Right. Mm -hmm. And then, um, you know, everybody was looking at what's her name? Uh, Amanda Bynes. Amanda Bynes. Yeah. Everybody was just like, oh, man. She's losing it. She, they're painted her as crazy. She's a drug addict. She's this, that, and the third, right? And it's a trip because it shows on, on the documentary that, bro, she was like eight years old doing stand-up comedy. That's how they, they discovered her. Damn. And she was an eight-year-old at like the Laugh Factory or something like right. that doing right. stand-up comedy. And that fucking Dan Schneider dude seen her and was instantly like, oh, she's a star. We yeah. need her. For, and that's when they brought her on to all that. And they gave her a whole show after. Whole show yeah. that was supposed to be another chick's, yeah. another little girl's show. Right. Oh, They damn. skipped over her, though, <coughs> and, and, wow. and gave it to Amanda Bynes. And, and think about someone like an Amanda Bynes. You could argue that she was born to do what she could do. Oh, for sure. She was You know what I'm talented. saying? So it's like, as a parent, if that's your child, and it's like, that, that motherfucker is Kobe Bean. Like, he, it's going to happen. Do you take them away from it because you don't like the environment, or do you say we're gonna have to follow this this trail? You and let protect it happen? them. Yeah. I know yeah. you protect them, but at a certain point, like we're talking about these people, if they say, "Look, there are eight kids here. One of them is gonna be featured this week. One of them is gonna be looked at for another show in next slated next season." All right, who's coming to work? Who's willing to say yes? Well, you know what I'm saying? And we're going to do whatever the fuck, we write whatever we want. To your point, mm -hmm. if she was Kobe Bean, yeah. that wasn't a motherfucker that was going to stand in the way. True. If it was written, true. someone's skipping the show, you not getting the opportunity, mm -hmm. Kobe's going to be Kobe. Right. And that's why I think it's, it's harmful for parents to feel like their family's economic interest is only going to be served in one version of it, where yeah. it's like my kid's going to be a child star and then we're going to get out the hood. It's like, well, no. Your kid could have some success early. You could teach them how to well manage their money. They could go on to be business people selling used cars 100%. later and, and rocking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or they could stay in acting and be directing and producing on their own in the future. You know what I'm saying? Jason Weaver is a great example. I mean, he had a lot of success as a kid, mm -hmm. but then... He still gets checks cut off of uh, singing uh, I Can't Wait to Be King for Disney, uh -huh. you know, because his mom was smart enough to restructure that so they didn't get one single cash payout, but they get residual oh, yeah. money. Mm -hmm. So it's those type of parents that are, I think, looking out for what their kids are and teaching them it's not just this one check. But when the family is like, we need this check. You know, people get sold up the river. Yeah, they're all like Moses. They're letting a little, little more slide. <laughs> and it, it seems like there's a common thread in all of these child stars. Yeah. A lot of them seem to just not make it to the other side as adults. Yeah. Like, it's got to be a really, really short list, dog, of, of these huge child actors mm -hmm. that are able to be successful and function in Hollywood as adults. Yeah. It's just, it's a weird culture that seems to just cultivate that weird shit, dog. Because there is parents that are still looking out mm -hmm. for the children. Like that part whenever, uh, you know, Drake uh, Bell comes into the conversation. Yeah. And it yeah. shows how his dad was like, no, keep him away from this fucking guy. Right. There's something wrong with this guy. Do not have my son alone with this fucking weirdo. Yeah. And... The weirdo got in the mom's head, head talked about the family this, was split. that, started That's, splitting the family apart, yep. started playing the dynamics against each other, and he was he was able to do what the fuck he did. Yeah, he still victimized that child. Yeah. Like that shit, and and then and now looking at him still being able to be on set with That's children wild. and shit. That's why. Like what the fuck, bro? Yeah. Who That's who wild. the fuck is there? To, to protect the kids, dog. I mean, I'll leave it up to people to go watch the documentary, but they actually named names of people who supported the guy. Oh, I know. So that happened too. 
You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, so, they like, said like that, bigger names, big names. Oh, huge him? people that are in oh, the industry. Yeah, people. Yeah, names that you know. Whenever, because because yeah. see, it, you know, no one really knew, and Drake hadn't said anything. No one, no one knew except for I guess Dan, that Dan Schneider dude. That mm-hmm. again is only saying right. that he got neck rubs on set, right? <laughs> That's all he's claiming and apologizing for. Okay. Uh, fucking doubt it. Uh, he he knew. Right. Um, he asked him, did this happen? He, you know, he admitted to it or whatever. But when they showed up to court uh, and he went to tell his side of the story, the sick fuck that did what he did to him had an entire full side of people in the industry, other actors that were mm-hmm. supporting him. Right. And Drake's side was just his family. Right. And you're talking about a kid who's a star on a show. Versus a guy who's like an acting coach or something. Yeah, he so wasn't it's even, like, what the fuck? Like, he's not even nobody. like yeah. Yeah. A somebody like that that you would really want to take a risk for like that. So it, it makes you wonder what is the relationship that, in, you know, encourages people to want to stick their neck out for some people. Because like you said earlier, ain't nobody doing it for Diddy right now. No, the, the silence is deafening. Nobody is doing that no. for him. And, uh, so it's, it's, I don't know, I, what, what is it about that culture that cultivates these fucking predators. <clears throat> you think it cultivates predators? From the looks of it, dog, <laughs> Corey Feldman been out here talking about this for years. Is, is, it, is it creating them or is it... I think it's... it's uh, kind of finding them. That's what I'm saying. What, like what, it, what is it, it? It uncovers them. Yeah, but what, like, it's, it's, what is it about that culture, the Hollywood star facade, whole situation they got going over there. I have a theory. Do we hit the button? <laughs> I think you hit the button. We hit the button, Jay. Let's get it. We ain't had a... Okay. Hey. Let's go, Len Words. Okay. 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 And this is, this is a very broad stroke explanation of this um, in a spiritual sense. The people who tend to be stars and tend to be loved by the the masses and the people and you know the special ones of us who mm-hmm. are in front of us all sometimes I, I would say more times often than not these people have an innate need to do to be in front of people mm-hmm. they they want to be seen they want to be like They want to be of service. They want to make people laugh. Uh They want to make people happy. They want to teach things. They want to do all these things through their expression. Mm -hmm. That need for attention, which is not a bad thing because it's it's healthy to a certain regard, can be preyed upon by people who can manipulate attention. Mm -hmm. So it's like it's a symbiotic relationship. You need people who are extraordinary that people want to watch and pay attention to. Oh, man. Their voice is amazing. You know, have you heard her sing? Have you, you know, seen him act? You know, uh-huh. I can feel it. You know, people who can tap into that, they're, they're unicorns. We want to watch them. We want to see what they're doing next. Like, uh-huh. that's why celebrity culture is what it is. You know, people are just naturally drawn to that. However, something other than just admiration is drawn to them. It is that manipulation. And I think that's why you get your Harvey Weinsteins and you get your, you know, your people. It's like these people just tend to really want to be good and useful and of service. But what they offer, being an actor, being a performer, being an entertainer, that sort of thing requires someone to be an intermediary. And Mm -hmm. those intermediaries often are the shadow side of that spirit. Uh Uh-huh. It's the exact opposite. Someone who doesn't want to be seen. Someone who just wants to, you know, hide behind the, you know, this, that, and the third. And take advantage. Right. And, and benefit. And how do they manage and control that? Well, I'll give you a Diddy contract. Yeah. You know? Because most people, like, when they talk about him doing bad business, they're talking about the contracts. And his contracts are probably the same that people been doing in the, <laughs> mm-hmm. in the recording forever. industry forever. He didn't reinvent So it's the not wheel. him. He didn't write them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He just used the same structures. So it looks like, oh, man, why is he doing that? He's supposed to be for the people. And it's like, well, yeah, you don't need Clive Davis to be for the people, but you need Diddy to do that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't make sense. So I think when it comes to that world of Hollywood, I think it becomes a symbiotic relationship where you have leeches that, like, attach themselves to stars and people. Uh But stars and, like, performers and stuff like that, 
the smarter they get and the closer they get to controlling their content and their output, the more you, you will see those teeth come out. And the more, the more, yeah, yeah, the more pushback they get from the people that don't want them controlling yeah. stuff. Look at what they did with Kanye. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, okay, okay. I, I, I see what you're saying. And it goes back to us talking about the record industry, um, wanting to keep hip hop a quote unquote young man's right. genre. We talked about that a while back because, you know, let's face it, it's easier to manipulate an 18 year old that just came out the motherfucking gutter with a check and a deal that he don't get because he doesn't know the ins and outs of the industry. You can manipulate him easier than a 39 year old that's had two record contracts and controls all of his masters. He knows Mm -hmm. he's seen Oz behind the curtains. He knows the game. So I guess it's the same can be said with these fucking leeches and predators that go after the child actors. Right. They know the parents are, are, are a, a lot of it. I mean, if, if we've seen it time and time again. A lot yeah. of these parents get, they see dollar signs and they forget to take care of their fucking kids right. and they let these leeches that are supposed to be there taking care of them mm-hmm. take advantage of them. Yeah. And I would say it's not even just kids. It's, it's any naive person who just wants to make it. So any talent that's just not seasoned, you don't have a good manager. You don't have a good attorney. You don't have, you know, a team built behind you that's going to protect you. So that darkness leeches on the innocence. So that darkness finds you. Yeah. yeah. You know, how many people get off the bus in L.A.? I'm going to be a star. I'm sure those stories go. You know? They're, they're abundant, those stories, for exactly. sure. Exactly. And we yeah. only hear of the ones that make it yep. and sometimes crash out and come back and, you know, or just crash out. You know what I'm saying? So we only know those names. Mm-hmm. We don't know all the names that everybody got off the bus. Well, you know, it's interesting. Um, I had seen something. I don't know if it was on Instagram or what it was on, but it was this this chick. She kind of went on a little bit of a rant, but there was moments in it that were kind of like kind of clarity moment. Um, she was talking about, you know, how all this stuff's come to the surface. Mm-hmm. And one of the most prevalent, biggest child actors that we've ever seen always defended Michael Jackson. Right. Macaulay Culkin. Yeah. Macaulay Culkin said, nah, that was my safest place I've ever been to. He never did anything weird. He, bro, he still to this day stands on that business. Right. And there was nothing, at this point, the amount of people that have come, come, you know, to the surface and told about that, talked about their trauma, he has nothing to gain at this point by still sticking to that business. Right. Michael Jackson been gone for years. Right. So... It's a little interesting, again, for lack of a better word, that him and also Corey Feldman's another one. Right. Corey Feldman has stood on that business, too. He's like, nah, Michael Jackson was never like that with me. But I got a list of motherfuckers that were. Right. He exactly. was ready to, to expose yeah, all of them. other ones. So yeah. why? why Damn, really? Yeah. That's so crazy. why would he, both of them, two, mm-hmm. two prevalent child stars, mm-hmm. one that has been vocal about him being abused and one... You know, that that doesn't seem like there was, I mean, I don't know, obviously, uh, I don't know, right. but he's never talked about any type of abuse like that. Right. And has said he was close to somebody that had, they said was fucking crazy and did all these atrocious things. Right. Again, I don't know if he did or not, but it is interesting that with all this time that's passed, he still is adamant that, no, that never happened. Right. And so is Corey Feldman. Interesting. Yeah. Mm. And I mean, just the same. There are people who are going to say that Diddy never touched him. You know, yeah. Kenan Thompson said Dan Feldman never fucked with him. Yeah. Well, he you said, know? he he said, OK, I see, he said, I, he, you he know, said what I'm it was before, so, he said it was before. Right. Like, I kind of we kind of went a different path. Right. Exactly. Like, I was there yeah. a little bit, but I didn't get I wasn't there for all of those moments. Right. Exactly. But that's what I'm saying. It's like they're not necessarily going to like a lot of those children, sadly, are singled out. They're isolated, and then they're preyed upon. So it requires that kind of sequence of getting to know someone, figuring out who's, you know, like, susceptible to those things. And some kids, like, if you have a father in your home, chances are this stuff won't happen to you, you know? But if you come from a broken family or your parents are contentious or, you know, you're you're in and out of foster care, stuff like that, like, you become, you know, it's just checking off more box, rolling the dice more times. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So eventually, you know, when Snake Eyes comes, it's not a surprise. No. So that's what I'm, 
I'm not saying that Mike did or didn't do anything. I personally, I have my own personal like feelings about that, uh-huh. but I don't think that necessarily he would have just been trying to like grab on every, you know, yeah. every potential young person around him. Like that, that's crazy. Yeah. Those are the people that it's easy for them to lock up because there's an abundance of evidence. But when you get into these like wealthy people who are making moves in the industries that they're in and like becoming billionaires and having power and influence that needs like they want to turn that light down, somebody can affect perception. Like uh-huh. Mike's the, the perception of who Michael Jackson is now today is still tainted mm-hmm. by what he went to his grave claiming to be false, false. allegations. Yeah. And they were allegations because even when they had him show his dick in depositions, it was a civil trial. It was about money. It was not criminal. No. It's the same a, move. It's, it's the same move. Damn. It's always about motherfucking money. But if bro. you were a ch- if you were victimized by someone, is there any price? No, absolutely not, because you are never, ever, ever going to be the same again. I'll never forgive mm. him. No, absolutely not. Well, and then, then it's not. It goes even deeper than that. A lot of them have trouble forgiving themselves. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it, it yeah. goes so far <coughs> that it, there's never gonna be a price tag. Right. There's no fucking way. But then some people are so broken that they don't stick up for themselves even after they've been victimized. So it's it's there's such a a, a wide like swath of what could be possible. Mm-hmm. And there's so many people involved that, like, when people just say, oh, it is this way or that way, it's just like, you must have some insider information because I don't look at what I'm seeing happen- happening to P. Diddy and saying, oh, it is for certain this or that. Uh-huh. I see a lot of X factors, and I see a lot of shit that I've seen go this way and that way. So I'm not willing to just throw away the justice system and due process for the sake of headlines. You know what I'm saying? I don't, funny as they are. No, it's yeah. very funny. Oh, it is. It's yeah. very funny. A bunch of memes. If it's not you, yeah. it's, it's hilarious. It's pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, if you watch 50 Cent's feeds, Bro. it's clown hey. He's ruthless. It's, yeah, he's ruthless. 50 is a menace it's to hilarious. society. <laughs> yeah. When you beef with 50, that is for life. <laughs> you, for I don't know how Fat Joe did it, to where now they're cool, <laughs> but him, Jada, like there's only a there's a small list right. of people that any chance he gets, man, it's gonna fly. Yeah, he's like brother love, brother love. <laughs> he's he even put up a picture of what the surviving Diddy poster would look like, bro. And then now 50's <laughs> baby mom is involved in the accusations. Oh really? She's got brought uh, into Kent's? the mix. Now him and his baby him? mom are going at it, bro. Okay, see now. No, see, Fifty's baby mom. Wild. What did they say? Fuck that she, she was helping. That she was helping Diddy with some of the the trafficking, bro. Oh no, yeah, really? Yeah, and Fifty went in on her, and she's trying to go back at Fifty. Stop so the whole, bro, like I said, dog, this wow. is just getting started, bro. This Man, is just I'm, getting. I'm started. already out. Yeah, hey. <laughs> yeah, I'll catch y'all at the criminal trial. That's trial. what's going on over here. What's going yeah. on behind the fucking be- behind this main That's what I'm right saying cuz nobody's talking that's that's nobody's talking know. about that Diazo uh Diageo su- settlement that Puffy got, but when he sued that liquor company. I was about to say that's for the alcohol, right? Yeah, for the liquor company he he got he got a, a nice check off of that. How long ago hmm. was that before the allegations? It was within a year. But, and the allegations obviously have been for a long time with Puffy as far as like how freaky the parties get yeah. in his lifestyle and everything. But like the Cassie lawsuit and some of these other lawsuits have all been within the same window of him trying to get justice and get his fair share of his liquor settlement because mm-hmm. he sued that company that was his distributor. And what happens when an artist sues a distributor? You either disappear, your name gets fucked up. Or you get fucked up mm. every time. So, I'm a, not, I mean, let's not be blind. Hey, the industry. You're not is, saying this is about money, are you? No, there's no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Absolutely not. No. Yeah. It what's, definitely. What's interesting. It's about character. Again, <laughs> goddamn it's word interesting. About, I, need to, yeah. I need to find another word. <laughs> what's interesting about the industries, right? Entertainment, I just with a broad stroke. Is like you said, like it's like there's two sides to it, right? You have somebody that's shining just 
like a supernova bright, huge, yeah. huge star, talent, ridiculous. And it's like it attracts the, the light too, but it also attracts the darkness. Mm -hmm. There's that underbelly of people that are just like there. Like you said, what was homie, a fucking, a, an act, a vocal coach? No, he was an acting coach. An acting yeah. coach. Yeah. Like, what, like what, what are your right. credentials here, my guy? Like, right. what the fuck are you doing here? You tried acting. Yeah. You studied <laughs> acting. And, and, <laughs> yeah. and that's yeah. about it. And now you can teach someone else. It, it's, it's interesting in the industry. And maybe that's why it goes back to, you know, people saying that, um, you know, Lucifer was God's favorite. Mm. He was, he was musically inclined right? Right, right there's always the stories of selling your soul to the devil you know mm -hmm. what i mean those type of stories exist because there's this malevolent energy that's attached to this industry yeah. no matter how you maneuver around it it just seems like nowadays we're seeing it more like i'm not saying it's there more uh -huh. it seems like now First. it's being exposed bro I think people are just waking up, man. Like, I just mm -hmm. think that's that's really what it comes down to. People are, uh, we're seeing enough repetition in these things and we're starting to recognize the patterns. Uh -huh. So, you know, it feels like, oh, things are crazier than they were, but it's like, yeah, we also have 24 well, hour news. Yeah, and, I was about to say, it's, it's because we those. see it all the time. Exactly. Like, you know, so I, I agree with you. Yeah, I think that's, that's, the, that's the part of it. And, you know, the more it happens, the harder it is for whoever is utilizing that, if anyone, to manipulate people. Like, how it's going to get less and less effective the more eyes are, are aware of what, what they're seeing and stuff on. like that. So, I agree. Like, but I also feel like the darkness is in people, it's not really in industry. Because you're going to see that darkness. I mean, dude, what happened with Boeing? You know? That guy who's gonna, you know, testify, testify tell, yeah. tell, talk about them, them planes falling apart and shit. Mm -hmm. Where is he now? The upper room, yeah, the upper room. <laughs> you know. Yeah. And Jeez, they say, yeah. and they say he 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 walked by his own hand. I don't know that that was true. I I, so, I agree with you. This is what I mean. It's because well, I mean, there's no industries without the people, right? Yeah. So these industries are all based off of a person being a part of it. Yeah. So I, I do agree that the, the, the darkness, the malevolent factor is human based right. for sure. Uh, you got good people and you got fucking shitty people. There's just no doubt. the universe is about balance, right? Yeah. You can't have the good without the bad. You can't have the bad without the good. So when things start going that way, like you just got to keep your head on a pivot, bro. You mm -hmm. got to pay attention to your surroundings because if you fuck around and let the devil in the door, my dog, he's going to kick his feet up and make himself a nice <laughs> little plate and yeah. get real comfortable. Yeah. So you got to, you just got to keep your, and if you're like, I look at it. If one of my children wanted to be an actor or a singer or some, you know, child prodigy in the mm -hmm. industry, like you said, too many things have been exposed at this point to where you could just let them be of their, just be, just be there. Right. With no guidance, with no protection, with nobody to watch out for them, dog. As a parent, if we can't take care of our kids, bro, then, then what the fuck, who the fuck are we? You feel what I'm saying? Observers. Observers. <laughs> yeah, and that's why you have, you know, you show. see, you see all these, these uh, parents that are like letting these kids get uh, emancipated yeah. in Hollywood at a young age. Mm -hmm. I guess, who, who's going to take care of them? These fucking weirdo ass acting coaches. Like why? Like, <laughs> I, I don't know, dog. It, it just doesn't compute with me. Maybe yeah. we're so removed from over there that because we're over here. I just, yeah. I, I, I don't see. I don't know. I, I, I don't. I don't give a fuck, bro. I'd rather be homeless with all of my family than put all the cards on the table with one of my kids and do, roll the dice, maybe or right. maybe not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But like you said, you, you got to keep your head on a swivel. You got to be aware. But you also got to, like, stick to, stay true to yourself and, mm -hmm. like, what you believe because if a little money's dangled in front of you and you're willing to let your kid take a fall for it, then, then yeah. something ain't right, obviously. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And it's hard for, I think, a lot of parents to to talk themselves out of an easy check, you know? Cause at that point it's like hitting the lottery, you know, you're mm -hmm. actually, you know, yeah, you're,
taking them to the acting classes or the swimming classes or, you know, the basketball practice or whatnot. So you're investing the time and the, and the focus and the attention, but that business that you're walk, leading them into is a business that eats people, you know? So yeah, yeah. it's like, it is, it, it just, you just got to know what you're doing and you got to have your line. Well, look at uh, the Williams sisters and their pops. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, they, they went all the way, bro, from like the bottom, bottom right. to the top of the tops, bro. Yeah. You know? So it can be done in a family. Yeah, LeVar Ball did it. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, shout out to LeVar Ball. But those are like the type of examples that we need to focus on rather than, you know, the mama I made it. Uh-huh. I'm say I'm getting my family out the hood. I'm buying back the block. Like we don't need one hero. We need everybody to be heroic. You know what I'm saying? I agree because look what ends up happening. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, rest in peace to Nip, bro. There was mm-hmm. nobody that was giving back to his hood, his block, his community than Nip was. Right. And look where look where they got him. Yeah. All that. Right there. Yeah. In his own neighborhood. In his own neighborhood, right there in front of the store that he built with his brother, mm-hmm. blood, sweat, tears. They took him out, and again, like he was always That's there. Crazy, bro. He was there to take care of his people. He wanted to give back. He wanted to show. He was giving the game away. Mm-hmm. He wanted to change the whole narrative, and one of his own, right, took and, him out right in front of the store. And you think about it: if there were twelve other people in that neighborhood doing what he was doing, that hate couldn't have concentrated. No, it would have been just him. One thousand, and it would have been so obvious to anyone who was just like, "Man, I can't stand all these positive black businessmen succeeding." Fuck all twenty of these motherfuckers. Yeah, fuck all of them. It's just like, well, bro, you just hating a positive movement at that point. Yeah. But if it can just be one dude, it's just like, well, I just don't fuck with them. Yeah, I'm like them. It's easier to hate. Oh yeah, then they make up all this. Well, yeah. Think about it, dog. Like, like (laughs) you gotta, you gotta, you pull up. He's in like a motherfucking Bentley. You know what I'm saying? He's right. got an actress that's his wife right. that people have been seeing in all these classic movies. You know, like, we talk about it from down here. You know, like, when you're, and I'm glad you brought that up when I did ask you last week. I do agree with you, dog. It, it seems like it's not It's not a color thing. It's not a race thing. It's a poverty thing. Yep. It's a poor it's lack, people lack, yeah, thing. Yeah, it's a poor thinking. It's lack of outlets. It's lack of money. So no. when you're in this this festering you know situation of people not having and one skyrockets out of the 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 fishbowl mm-hmm. and is just floating above it and everybody's looking up I'm like oh my god how's he's he got, doing it how's yeah. he doing this i'm still stuck here barely treading I'm from water. the same place he's from man we went to school together like yeah. i never fucked with him back then like that's yeah. like where it seems to to start right those where that's where the seeds mm-hmm. are, are are being planted so i I think you're onto something, Len Words was saying, is if more people start saying, nah, 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 we got to spread this out. Right. You're doing this, okay, bet, let me do this over here too. Mm-hmm. It's so many, so many people start climbing up. Instead of the crabs in the bucket, let me pull you down. Yeah. My dog, let me get out this bitch so I can throw the ladder back down yeah. and everybody could climb up this motherfucker if they want to get on the ladder. Right. You can't, you know, you could teach a man to fish, you can't make him eat that motherfucker, right? Yeah. Well. <laughs> just because I throw a ladder down doesn't mean you're going to get on it and start climbing out. That's true. That's true. Y- y'all didn't want to climb up to the roof earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't climbing over. Yeah. Lemwards, we ain't taking the thumbnail <laughs> picture that up there. We I'm ain't good. doing it up I'm there. Good. So before we get out of here, we got to always talk about a little music. And since we're still in the thick of it, man, Drake out here doing everything but responding. He hasn't released any music? No. Oh. He's putting up passive aggressive captions. <laughs> He's doing skits. <laughs> is he he's doing <laughs> he's doing everything but responding to K Dot. Right. You think he will? AI AI already responded. AI Drake already was on it. He, I he saw that. So that wasn't him. Okay. I don't think that so. was the computers. Computers is nice. <laughs> I don't know. Computers talking that shit. <laughs> computers talking that shit. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, but bro, this that, better not turn into no guy. shit. Even like the the fucking punchlines that that it has. That's what I'm saying. I was like, I was like what the fuck. I was like, that sounds like a rapper. That's I, crazy, know, like, dog. With man, that fool needs to get off IG. Pull up to. I don't even care, bro. Get the ghostwriters. Get whoever ghost wrote 
fucking Benzino's diss to M rap Del Alvis. Get him in the studio. Man, let's go. I want that, bro. I, we need the shits, bro. We need the back and forth. You don't think Dre's going to do it, Len Words? I, I, think, I think that era of hip hop is. Don't say it, man. That's going to hurt not, my heart. It's not over. It's not over. What I'm saying is we'll see some people want to participate in it and we'll see others that don't. It's not required anymore. Like, it used to be required. You can't get on stage in New York if LL rap, uh, dissed you. No, not without a response. You got to say something. Yeah. You have to. It's not like that anymore. <sighs> I don't know. I'm at a point where it's like 50-50. Like, he, he, if he does respond... He has to kind of outdo the AI that already <laughs> came out. So he's up against AI Drake. Against Not only AI is he up against K-Dot, yeah. he's up against AI Drake. <laughs> I didn't hear the record. So it was that dope? It, it was, was dope. decent, it was man. Dope, it was decent. I was like, oh. I sent it to the, to the group chat. Damn. Yeah. Slacking yeah. Over I was here. surprised. I was like, oh. And then when, now you're saying that it was computers. It's like, okay, I can see that. But it's not, it's not far off. Like it's kind of crazy how that is. That's yeah. that's wild. Don't don't clip up this footage and make me be saying some crazy. Oh yeah, they be like, damn, <laughs> Len Words yeah. loves AI. Yeah, this is AI, <laughs> AI Len Words. AI, right? <laughs> I I don't know, dog. I want. Obviously, someone needs to respond. I, I mean, no, they don't need to do anything. <laughs> they don't need to do anything. That's what I'm right? saying. They, they don't, don't need have to do anything. They don't have but to. but for the sport of it, dog, like. Of course, it what goes to Cole, right? What did Cole say? He's like, I'm trying to keep this a dying sport alive. Yeah, so we know that if there's anybody that's going to respond, it's going to be Cole. But, man, come on, dog. Drake got to say something, bro. He didn't even go with Cole. This is a Drake situation, bro. Yeah. He went at Drake. And the real messy part of the whole situation, mm -hmm. I feel like the real <laughs> beef is between Future and Drake. Right. Well. So is Metro in it? Is beefing with because... Future and, and Drake are beefing? Or so it Metro seemed like it no started with Metro and Drake. They were throwing shots at each other like oh, okay. all year. Why? Over a female. Esque. Which it usually is. Hmm. It's crazy. All this pillow talk, bro. Damn, dog. Y'all out here. He ain't learned his lesson yet. Isn't okay. that what got him caught up with Pusha <laughs> T and shit? Man. They okay. was out here all, right. all fucking the same bitch. Like, man. When you get Who that much she? money. I don't know, bro. But that shit must oh, be slapping. It must be. When you get that much Clippity money, clap it. Clip it. <laughs> Make some motherfucking noise. With that one, Jay. All right. Uh, it seems like at a certain point, when you get all this money, you just get fucking bored and you just start doing stupid shit. Yeah. Please don't. I don't know. All, all the females on this earth, bro, and you gotta, you gotta find like the same one, one the one of the homies, chicks. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't get. Speak I, on it, Jay. I don't get that. I don't get it. I don't know, man. That's that's an interesting conversation. I can't even, I don't know, because that that's one of the things where it's like that whole lifestyle breeds certain types and attracts certain types of potential dating partners and stuff like that. So they're all gonna be in the same circles. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So some chicks can't even get in the party. You know, some of these wholesome, nice, regular girls. They're not invited. <laughs> yeah. They're not in L.A. They're not in New York. They're not in Miami. You know. Any of these places, you mean they ain't there for All Star in. Weekend? Yeah, they're not coming to Atlanta. You know, they're at work. You know, and could be one of the baddest ones of all time, but you never know her, and they would never meet these people because they don't want to be in that world. So, mm. I like. Yeah, there's a lot of there's probably a lot of good women out there, but oh, there is. These I, guys I, are pulling I, from the same pool. I you like know? that Jay brought they're fishing up in the same pond. The homies chick. Yeah, that's that's a good one. That's a good one because. Some people can't stand on that on that business. Some people just love I've talked to about that come before. In behind it. And that's a whole But that's crazy though. Another podcast. No, I know these it is. guys that just come in behind other guys like That were the homie too. Yeah. I, I could see bro. a complete stranger, obviously they're not together. It is what it yeah. is. Everybody's got uh, partners in history, yeah. right? There's nobody out there that doesn't. Right. But your homies. Right. That's yeah. Your homies ex wife or, or or current situation shit even your homie's fucking side piece my dude like <laughs> right. chill out what the fuck are you doing yeah. there, you know how many people are on the face of the earth yeah. the fuck right. you doing walking around following me for that's weird right that's like, very weird that's very weird that's, ha that's, that's happened to me where it's just like bro damn you you went there that's crazy I, okay I, like 
There's All right, your there's turn, enough, I guess. But there's, still, a, that's, there's enough fish in the that's sea, wild. bro. Mm-hmm. And then they always hit you with a but no, we're in love. Man, bro, go be in love with someone else, dog. <laughs> <laughs> You're in love. And yeah. then a year later, bro, damn, dog. I, I'm you were right. Bro. She was fucking crazy. You were right, dog. <laughs> I don't know. That's just, it's always been against code of conduct uh-huh. around my parts for me. Yeah. I can't do it. Yeah. The bro, nah. The bro code. Well, I mean, even further than <laughs> Get that, back on code, it's, man. Right. Tell Get them. back on code. <laughs> bro, yeah. it's even, it, fuck that. It's just, it should be common sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? If it's a stranger, you don't know the person, or, or, let's say, let's say for sake of argument, it's the greatest love that has ever existed in mankind. Right. That you, your homie finds with your ex chick. Uh-huh. Okay. My dog, at least have the decency to be like, hey, my dude, listen. Me and your baby moms, bruh. I think this is something special. We're going to fucking, she's the earth, I'm the stars type of shit, right? Uh-huh. Don't just be out here. Derek Fisher showing up at the cookout. Feel what I'm saying? Not saying nothing. Feel what I'm saying? Matt Barnes. Feel what I'm saying? Why are you laughing, Dom? You know the story. <laughs> Feel what I'm saying? Like, at least at least give a, a, a friendly heads up just here, on, my just dude. Just on the grill light. Yeah. Hey, guys. <laughs> Fuck you doing here? <laughs> what, what did you say? When, whenever you're in another town, you reach out and say, hey, yeah. I'm in your town. Yeah, yeah. You bro. Same reach out. motherfucking thing. Yeah. You mean to tell me, bro, we went to school together and you didn't let me know you were in my town, bro? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How the fuck you gonna be in my playground? Right. This is my and not class. E- not even let me know, bro. You gotta give me a heads up. Bro. Yeah, that's my swing. That's my swing. But even then, you learn, dog, and then you just keep keeping people where you where you need them. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I that's mean, true. it's, it's that's hard true. if they're with your baby mama. It's something different. Okay, because but... they're gonna show up to the function. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I got a good question. I know we don't want to go too far down this rabbit hole, but what do you think you learn about that person? When, when you do, see that, when they, when do, they do that. No, well, well, when they do that specifically, when they kind of following behind you, dating the same people, rocking the same clothes, buying the same car, all that. I what look it, at what it do that you I'm see? inspirational. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm inspiring. <laughs> also want to slap the fuck out of them. <laughs> yeah. But I try and keep balanced here, Lynn okay. Words. Okay. What about you, Jay? Uh, I would say they're, they're like, not needy. What's the word I'm looking for? Um, Insecure? Insecure, but like thirsty because they're like so they want what you have, obviously. Right. You know what I mean? To some extent. So that's why they're rocking the same clothes, jocking like your chick, you know what I'm saying? Because they I, I guess maybe it is insecure. It's not the word I'm looking for though. Hmm. What's the word? I don't know. Uh, you about to bring a dictionary this yeah, I know, month. right? I know. That's what we're gonna hey, do. He's like, You're the word. I'm like, guy. You're the word <laughs> Smith, we're gonna put a dictionary right here because we can't Google that. I can't say, hey Dom, Google what word Jay's trying to think yeah. of. It. Oh, MV- here it is. AI hey, could. Wait. Envious. Yeah, right. Hey, envious. What? Envious. 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 Yeah, that's holy. Like, damn, see? this dude yeah. did have it. Envious. I right, Google. Dumb. We're just gonna say, Dom, right. what word is Jay thinking of? <laughs> Since y'all are, are you know, Dom, psychotic. What, what number am I thinking right now, Dom? Four. 69, oh bro. Oh, That's what Jay's what? always thinking. <laughs> Dom GPT Let's over hit there. the casino, Dom. <laughs> hey, so envious. They're envious. Like envious, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know? That's a, the, both, a those, both those emotions are the yeah. same motherfucker, right? It's the same sin. It's the same spear. It's you the got same sin. You are not the, supposed to covet the, your, <clears throat> your neighbor's wife, his house. Or thanks. Yeah. You're not supposed to be looking at your Like, you're supposed to look at someone else and be like, damn, he did it. I could do it too. But you're not supposed to be like, well, he I got it so I can't has. have it. Let me slide yeah, in. Yeah, he got it so I need to get that I want same his shoes. Thing. I want yeah. his car. I want to take a shower and, and that's, with his that's wife. Like, that's almost like what it is, bro, I think. Like, yeah, it's people, crazy. People have that. They're like that. Like probably Diddy's probably to like something like that to some like extent in his head. Can you know you, what I'm saying? Can, Where, you not, can you not imagine if you're the guy that everybody's watching like that, but you're also kind of a weirdo? And everybody kind of knows it. I think everybody we're all weirdos. Or something exactly. Yeah, but he's talking about Diddy Party weirdo. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I know but you're I'm talking a weirdo, like, Jay, but you ain't that kind of a weirdo. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I think that. I think that's Diddy in real life. Man. Some of like, it. I think that that's character. why it was. That's why it was so funny because he was just kind of just being himself. <laughs> yeah. Right. You know, that's why the character worked so well. Yeah, bro. Right. I got six kookaroos. I'm fine. I don't know. The lie detector might prove that a different conversation. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll have to see. On that note, yeah. that was the segue to get the fuck up on <laughs> out of yeah, her. Let's go, let's go. Episode 58, my dogs. Yes. We're knocking on 60's door. Yeah. We're getting close to a hundo. Mm-hmm. 
Live chat was cracking last that week. Really I fuck with all of y'all. Share it with a friend. Tell them respect the motherfucking connect. Until next time, respect the connect. Peace. It's picker than that.